1.10 in the afternoon in Durant, Oklahoma. Uh, the Choctaw Travel Plaza slash casino is, uh, is where? Somewhere, I think, I want to say this direction. Or it might be sort of on the other side of this building. Been an interesting day. Um, I picked this up in, in the sheet steel I have. I have a load of sheet steel similar but not quite to that uh, flatbed in front of me. Um, they're the kind of place that uh, they have their own scales and what they do is they load you, they put you on the scale so they can see how much more they can put on. Their scale was pretty close to that, but when you get close to 80,000, they don't show the individual, this is a cat scale, I'll explain. Um, when you go, their scale will show you the total amount. And then you pull off the front end, of, you pull your uh, truck off and just leave the tandem trailer on the scale and they let you know if you're overweight on the back end. And uh, they said I was good to go. But uh, the first thing I do when I get anywhere close to this amount on anybody's scale is I go to a cat scale to ensure that I am, this is like my legal insurance policy that my company pays for. Uh, I didn't have to this costs eleven dollars, but it doesn't come out of my pocket. My company pays for it, and uh, then I can proceed on my way. My truck weighs um, at the time that they weighed it was like twenty eight thousand five hundred pounds, and I had just fueled. So this ought to be interesting. I don't think this guy's going to make it. His uh, mirror is in line with hitting my mirror, so we'll see if he'll squeeze by. Um, I'm at, but there is a, uh, see that steel on the ground? I would have gotten over more, but I don't like driving over ste sharp steel pieces. And, uh, oh, well, he's trying to... I guess he's in, he needs to make his delivery now. And uh, so you never, I mean, it's always interesting the things you uh, occur. You know, instead of coming up, hey, can you, you know, I could have backed up and got out of the way, but I guess they decided to proceed without even wondering how I felt about it. Some people do that. It's weird getting off topic, but hey. As long as they don't hit my truck, but I'm willing to move. I'm willing to make other people's lives more convenient. For all the naysayers out there. See, I don't want to drive over that. This is what over 51,000 pounds of steel looks like on this particular load. And I used all my chains, all my, oh, oh I got to flop that over center binder stacking system down. Uh, used all my over center binders, all my ratchet binders, and four additional uh, straps in addition to all my chains to secure this down correctly. The reason I didn't show that is because one, this was tarped, unlike my previous load where it was untarped. This load was tarped and when I got here I wasn't sure exactly how quickly this gentleman was going to unload the one in front of me, so I didn't know if I'd have time to even film this. So for everybody that in their initial comments are going to complain that I didn't take like five seconds to show the securement. Tough. There's other channels to watch. That's all I gotta say. Because <laughs> there are some whining and complaining individuals out there that I just ignore. So, oh, they are unloading, and I will be next. I had a bunch of stuff I was going to talk about, but that truck threw me off. That came really close to my truck. So, it's going to be my turn shortly because he is unloaded. Um, I picked this up in Indiana, here in Durant, Oklahoma. 51,000 pounds. It's actually 51,500 pounds of sheet steel. Heaviest load I've ever done. I've never been that close to 80,000 pounds before. How am I able to carry such a heavy load as my trailer and truck weigh uh, just the right amount to allow that to uh, be that way? So, 
<sighs> Just see, there's a pickup truck back there. He doesn't even want to make the journey that that 18 wheeler just made because <laughs> it looks so tight. So it uh, <clears throat> all of a sudden it's gotten busy. This truck's going to pull forward. I'm just going to pull forward into his spot and uh, hopefully get unloaded fairly quickly since I'm next in line. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Oh, I just wanted to say um, for anybody that uh, is thinking about going with Maverick, uh, please put my name in as a referral if my video has helped you out because uh, my family appreciates it. And congratulations to everybody that graduated in this recent uh, Maverick graduating class. I had a breakdown this morning. I had to wait two hours to get started because my truck wouldn't start. So I'm going to keep the camera on while he I has pulled this race into the mar uh, into a margin attempt to start this truck because it didn't start this morning. I had to have somebody tap on my starter. Second time this issue's happened in a different truck. Start. You so. have six hours and 29 minutes of remaining drive time. Thank you, Mom. All right, that's it for now.